guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So today we're gonna do a tutorial on one of the newest characters from Leica Studios named Mr. Link, which happens to be from Leica's new stop motion animation, Missing Link. And so we'll we later find out in the movie his name is Susan, what he chooses his name to be. So let's go ahead and draw Susan or Mr. Link. All right, so what you're gonna do first, we're gonna start with his big old cute face, and he's basically Bigfoot, just in case you forgot that part. <laughs> So we're going to start with a circle, big round circle like this. Alright, let's just go ahead and roughly lay out his entire body and his face and everything. So after we lay out this circle, what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go right below this circle right here with a smaller circle, go down and make a big circle right here. After this, you're going to jump on top. We're going to go up on top, go around the side, here, we're going to go this way. And then we're going to go this way, go in towards, and then we're going to kind of like start going downwards. So we're not going to do like a full body sketch, we're going to do like the ultimate shape of his body, not his legs, but like the rest of his avocado body. So after this, you're going to come down to the side right here. We're just going to make a big, long arm here. And then you're going to jump over here and make a big, long arm here. And I'm going to circle right back up. Okay, then I'm actually going to just draw through that arm and kind of like round this up. See, we've got that ultimate look of an avocado, as you can see. He's an avocado, he's a furry avocado! So we're gonna go up and around like this. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and draw his arms, like his forearms, so this is the top of his arms. And we're gonna draw one arm going this way. And we're gonna go one arm going this way, like he's folding his hands because he's a completely sweet little Bigfoot. And he's adorable. Just a timid, so, timid, sweet beast. All right, so you can see that we've got the hand folding like that going in front of it. Okie doke. Next, let's go ahead and focus on his face. Mr. Link's eye line is that we're going to go really close to the top of his face. So we see we make that eye line up there and we still have an overall nose line going straight down the middle. Now what you're going to do is we're going to get pretty close. We're going to make one little circle here and then one little circle here. So if you guys are wondering why I keep calling him an, av an avocado, it's because I actually went to Leica Studios and I got to learn a bunch about Missing Link and what, like his character process and the story process and Chris Butler said that he is essentially a hairy avocado. <laughs> so okay, we got my, we got the little two eyes and I'm actually gonna go up top here where we made this circle here you're gonna make an overall, like we're just gonna make like a dog nose for right now. So we got a dog nose, big wide dog nose. All right, and you see we got this part going upwards and that is looking like, almost like a bamboo. It looks like a bamboo nose. So you're gonna go, after you bring up this bamboo nose, you're gonna kind of carve out this part Make a little indention there, keep the middle open, a little bit of a space, but we're going to go right alongside here and right alongside here. So you see we carve out these two spots, make sure they're nice and equal so they're going up with the nose. Kind of lightly erase around his eyes, these guidelines, I could probably go ahead and get rid of some of these guidelines around his eyes. So what you're going to do for his eyes, we're going to make one eye right here and then we're going to make another eye right here. So give a little bit of distance between his eyes and they're going to be on the eye guideline. So you're just going to kind of circle these in, make them nice and round. Okay, so the thing is with, their, uh, with his eyes, you're just going to curve on the insides, curve down here round it and then come up here, curve this down. Okay. 
Now I'm going to make a pupil iris area right here and then a pupil iris area right here as well. So not too far away and not too close. Now the thing about Link is he has these adorable little eyelids. And I tried to draw it. You could actually see the, re the remaining parts. I just totally messed up on his eyelids. So we just have to go ahead and incorporate the eyelids coming up to here. Bring this up. Bring around this eyelid. Just go ahead and have those cute little eyelids. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go... And we're gonna make a little shine here and then a shine here and then we're gonna go ahead and fill in this pupil area and fill in this pupil area and the thing about mr link's eyes is, is they are very pretty amber looking eyes and then i'm gonna jump down below and we're gonna give him these bags underneath his eyes it's not that he has really he doesn't sleep they're just cute bags it just really softens his expression and then i'm gonna jump up here and this line that we made up here, we're actually going to keep it, and this acts as his eyebrows. So his face actually needs to be a little bit more rounded and taller. He has a really tall forehead. So what you're going to do is we're going to come above here where we made this first initial mark up here. So you're going to bring this down to the side. We're going to go along the side of what we made. So we bring out this part, and then we bring out this part, coming over this way around the side see we bring out those cheeks just a little bit and then we have his nose which is great we got that all placed now that we're actually gonna bring down this part and then we have the overall shape of the monkey face that we want all right so what you're going to do is you're gonna come down below right really close to where we made this line right here so we're gonna make we're going to bring up that smile. He's got like a half, almost full smile. You can bring up that smile there. And then you're going to make that an open smile by going below. So, but one corner is going up more than the other. So this right corner of his smile is going up more. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and give him one teeth line here. And then another teeth line here. And we're just going to go ahead and divide up the teeth. We can see a little bit of a sharpened scissor on the side but this is a tooth this is a tooth and then a little sharp and scissor all right and then we're gonna jump below here a tooth here tooth here and a tooth here all right there we go so we've got his little half smile which is absolutely adorable and his teeth aren't that really scary they're actually put together and it's a kind of a dolan scissor let's go ahead and shape up this face so this is his overall face for his facial expressions and everything so his hair goes on top right here we're going to bring his hair back along the sides and go on in and just add more to his hair bring that up we're actually going to i actually got to hold the puppet in my video if you saw of his cow so this is like kind of like a whole cow section here that covers his face for the puppet so we're just going to kind of like round that off a little bit and to show a little bit more texture to his fur so we're just going to go around and we're going to go down to his hands how they're folded over his chest his little round belly shape up his fur a little bit more but what I'd like to do is go up on this one and start to draw his hands because he has really long fingers, really long monkey fingers. So you're gonna bring this around and then you're gonna go down like this. All right, so one hand is folded over the other and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath and we're gonna box off this hand here because he's folded over and we can actually go ahead and box off these fingers because they're big long fingers. Let's start with the pointer finger on top of here, on top of his arm. You're gonna go out, you're gonna go up and into his hand. So this is his hand that we're going into. Round off. Actually, this is his thumb. <laughs> Looks like his fourth finger, finger. So we're gonna go into his thumb. Then we're gonna bring down one round finger here. Go up and then in. And we're going to leave like a little bit of space, go down, round that up, and back in. 
and then we're going to bring a little bit of division here, round that up, back in, and then right here, you're going to come along the side of the hand, and you see this is all fur going over his hand, but this is the bottom of his hand, it's going to go down, and then the pinky. So there's his hand folded over his arm, and then this one, this hand, so we see a little bit of the pinky coming out right here. So if we bring down, so this is the bottom of the hand, and if we go down, bring out this part, so we have a pinky folded in, and you see that it's like the crease of the pinky, it's folded in, and then we have another finger coming along the side, folded in, going behind the pinky. And you see he's got a lot bigger fingers, they're bigger joints. And then another little hand to go out to the side, round it down, and go in. All right, and that's all we see. We can kind of go ahead and make this part too. Just a little bit of his hand. So we got four fingers, four fingers, and then we go ahead and we define these fingers a little bit more. And the thing about monkeys is they have a little, and Mr. Link, is that on the joints he has these little indentions for his lines, for his knuckles, we all have them. These little lines right here, they're very accident, accident in his, these drawings and the design of Mr. Link. So you see we've got that, that cute monkey similarity. Now the thing about Mr. Link is he, he's not round. He's got tons of fur everywhere. What you would do next is go around and kind of give a more of a texture instead of a flat plane all around him. So give him his fur and just go around. And I remember I said I made the cowl. Now the thing about Mr. Link's fur is when you make the fur, they look like leaves almost. So when you go around, you just want to make those leaves. You see, it almost looks like leaves going around his face and those are the sections of his hair. So when you build him up and make his fur, they're in the shape of leaves. But when you go and you divide them, they look like hair. But you've got to think when you're drawing the hair that they look like leaves. But the first thing you want to do is to go all around and define his fur line more. So keep the divot right here. And the direction of his arms, make sure with his fur, it goes in the proper direction. Since we have a little bit of space down here, we have one leg that goes right here. And then one leg that goes right here. Let me grab a liner and show you how I would draw this fur. You gotta think that this is like a cow on top. It's almost like, how I want to look at it, it looks like a lion's mane almost. So I kind of separate that. And when you make his fur, you want to make sure that it's built up of leaves and then you divide it. So it's like overlapping leaves.
and there we go. There is how to draw Mr. Link or Susan from Leica's new movie, Missing Link. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, I went to the Leica Studios to check out the actual puppets and get a tour of the Missing Link set. So I'll leave that right there for you guys to check out. And in the description down below, I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. 